Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how you can add multiple pagination links on one page. I already created necessary categories and sub-categories for this Laravel 10 multi-vendor e-commerce project. We have 8 categories in total. Also, we have 163 sub-categories in total. But before continue, let's fix an issue. We need to delete category and its related sub-categories. Back to this delete category method. Here, we check if this category has sub-categories. In future videos, we will check if one of these sub-categories has related post. But for now, let's delete those sub-categories. Let's test. Suppose we need to delete this category. Good, that category deleted and its subcategories deleted too. As you can see, only 156 subcategories remains in subcategories table. Also, only 7 categories remains in categories table. So, we are going to add pagination links under each of these two tables. You must use with pagination trait. Let's display one category and subcategory per page. To paginate our table, just update these two queries. As you can see, 
we only have one category and one subcategory under each table. So, we need to add pagination links under each table. Good, pagination links added under each table. But we have one issue. When you click on subcategories pagination links, this will affect categories pagination, which is not good. The same to the categories pagination links, this will affect subcategories pagination. To solve this problem, we need to add extra two parameters on each paginate function of both categories and subcategories. Let's test. As you can see, only categories pages changes without affecting subcategories pagination. The same to the subcategories pagination. You can go to any page without affecting categories pagination. Friends, I hope you learned how you can add multiple pagination links on one page. See you in next video.